Popeyes versus Bohanglas versus Arby's versus Wendy's versus Burger King. Who has the best fish sandwich? Early predictions. I'm always going to ride with Arby's, baby. All day, every day. First, we're going to try the crispy tango fish sandwich from Wendy's. We got lettuce, American cheese, pickles, dill tartar sauce, a soft bun, and a panko crusted fish. So when you bite into this, you can tell it's panko for sure. It's extremely, extremely crunchy. I wouldn't be surprised if this fish done punched some mouse back in the day, because this thing is crunchy. The tartar sauce, it's okay. It does have a mild, sweet dill flavor. The only thing about this fish sandwich is it don't taste like fish. And on that note, we're moving on to the next. This next one is the Bojangler from Bojangles. So we got fish, tartar sauce, cheese on a toasted bun. First and foremost, the fish has a very unpleasant, musty feet smell. You understand what I'm saying? I almost didn't try this because of the smell. The smell is horrible. Now to the fish, for this to be breaded in panko, it doesn't have that crunch I was expecting, but it does, it does taste like fish surprisingly. I do feel like with this one in particular, it's more nostalgic than anything. Kind of puts you in the mind of that, that frozen fish back in the day in Walmart, what was it, Gordon's or something like that? <laughs> that shit was good back in the day, but we're in different times now. Side. This next fish is the fish sandwich from Burger King, y'all. I mean, this is okay. It ain't bad. This is also panko crusted with tartar sauce, pickles, lettuce on a brioche bun. One thing about Burger King, they are gonna give you some lettuce and, and, and sauce. Burger King, in my opinion, has been on the mid climb for quite some time. I will say this fish sandwich, it ain't bad. It is a little salty, yes, but the tartar sauce does kind of help balance things out. Also with the fish, it's not really, it's not really crispy or crunchy. It's it's a little mushy. Now that could be from all the sauce they pile up on this mug, but it's definitely not, it's definitely not crunchy at all. But this one's probably the best one that I've had so far. Next is the crispy sandwich from Arby's. Okay. All right. So just off the rip, this one is really hard to judge because they gave me a hell of a lot of lettuce. I mean, y'all gave me more lettuce than Burger King, man. Burger King is the king of giving people lettuce. Also, the cheese has a has a weird brown tint to it. Not sure where that came from. I think the fish is okay though. It doesn't really have a, a strong fishy taste. It's it's extremely extremely mild actually, which is probably why the tartar sauce is so good. This tartar sauce is probably the best tartar sauce that I've had out of all the sandwiches. Instead of it being like extremely tangy, it has a great amount of a great amount of sweetness to it. I can actually get jiggy with. It's pretty good. It's all right. And last but not least, we have the fish sandwich from Popeyes. So we got the bread of fish, the brioche bun, pickles, and tartar sauce. This is the first sandwich that I had today that ain't got cheese on it, and I can appreciate it. This sandwich is very reminiscent of the chicken sandwich they sell. You know how the breading has that that distinctive smell? That's what this smells like. But the difference with this one is it's a little spicy. And just to keep it 100 with you, this really don't taste like fish either. It really tastes like, it tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken, bro. And also the tartar sauce ain't hitting on shit either. The tartar sauce tastes just like this regular mayo. I think if you're looking for a good fish sandwich, this one right here might just disappoint you a little bit because it disappointed me. Arby's, Burger King, Bojangles, Popeyes, Wendy's. That's it.